Hi, welcome to Kitchen Garden Therapy. I'm Slava and today I would like to take you around my garden and show you what vegetables and fruit I have growing right now. I have done already a June flower garden tour. If you haven't seen it yet, click on the link over here. And today I would like to show you my veggies. So these are my bush beans which I planted earlier in May and right now I am ready to harvest some of them already. So these are red swan bush beans. They are keep blooming so I will have more and more. These are my cucumbers that I planted earlier. I think these are called jelly melon and they are growing up nicely up the trellis. There are more cucumbers that I planted later. I will show you them um, later in this video. Also, if you remember, I planted three sisters um, garden bed with corn, uh, runner beans and zucchini. So let me show you what's going on in this three sisters bed. We just had heavy rain, so everything <laughs> is wet and kind of droopy, but I'm so happy we had the rain because it was two, three weeks of really hot weather and we, we needed this rain. <laughs> so hopefully my wages are happy. So as you can see, my corn is up and growing. I also interplanted some sunflowers in between the corn and they are almost ready to bloom. The zucchini that I have here um, is growing up nicely. You can see there is a little zucchini in there and a few more blooms. And um, in front of my three sisters bed, I have pots with peppers so let me give you a closer look here I have pepperoncini this is how pepperoncini looks I will let it ripen a bit more and then pick it these two I think are ahi cherapita which are small tiny hot peppers no peppers yet but they are blooming so there is a ton of blooms on these plants. Now this is serrano and as you can see there are a few fruit in here. This is also serrano. That pot has two chocolate peppers and they supposed to be like a brown color once they ripen but I harvested some a week ago and they were not ripened but they were still so so delicious and sweet we put them on the grill last Sunday and they were so good but I can't wait for it to to ripen and so I can taste it um, in its best way <laughs> all right next one is Jimmy Nardello which is Italian sweet pepper but it looks like hot pepper so for those of you who love these kind of shaped peppers but can't take heat, Jimmy Nardello is the one. And the last part over here is another pepperoncini, a ton of them. Oh, there is also banana pepper here, I forgot. I love banana peppers too because they are not spicy but have a ton of flavor. Then in here I have a tomato forest. <laughs> I grow them in grow bags and pots. Um, the ones in the back are the 15 gallon grow bags in which I planted two plants. That's why it looks so, so bushy in here. And I did trim them before. And after trimming, they grew back all of those leaves. So I'll have to go again. Now on the other side of this raised bed, I have 
two tomatoes growing up the trellis and they are already having fruit forming I also have bell peppers in here yes here it is so that's the bell pepper in there and this is Hungarian which is similar to banana pepper I love banana and Hungarian because they are prolific like they give you a lot a ton of fruit and early also usually what's early is not prolific and what's prolific is kind of late in the season so this is the exception now this is Serrano and that's Jimmy Nardella okay let's move forward I would like to show you this unique tomato so regular tomato leaves look like that but then there are tomato varieties that have really fine leaves and this is the Moskvich tomato just look at that load of fruit <laughs> and all of these white flowers are coming from the valerian root plant which is growing up here it's finishing blooming already i'll put the video on the screen which will show you how it looked when it was just starting to bloom but right now all of these fine flowers are just going down it's like a snow <laughs> also i would like to show you my red currants which are currently ripening and they are so delicious i love them You like it? Yes? Yeah. <laughs> so the cucumbers that I planted earlier in May are already up and growing. I've showed you them earlier. But here I have cucumbers that I just planted in June and they are all growing up nicely they're still small but soon they will be starting to climb up this trellis and then in front of the cucumbers i have planted a ton of different bush beans and the same way in this bed also remember how i was planting climber beans up on these trellises and then underneath i planted basil and you can see that both of them, the beans and the basil, had sprouted and are growing. Also in the pots next to my door, I had peas growing earlier. Now I planted zucchini and cucumbers and also runner beans. So those are scarlet red beans. These are cucumbers and on the edge I planted zucchini and on the other side I have another pot like this and the same thing I planted zucchini cucumbers and runner beans also I would like to show you my eggplants remember this year I'm experimenting with different varieties I have frog eggplant red eggplant well here I have an eggplant that blooms with white flowers so usually traditional eggplants have purple blooms well this one the eggplant is red but the blooms are white and right now it's still green and small but when it grows bigger I'll show you how it looks here I have some carrots growing different varieties I planted them earlier I think in the end of March so now let's see if I can harvest some of them already look at this beautiful perfect size kind of like a baby carrot I love it so that's the purple variety now let's 
try to pull some other one. Oh, okay, so this is the white one. Oh, this is the Uzbek carrot. Golden, Uzbek golden. On top, it has green when it's exposed. Okay, this is another Uzbek carrot. I like it. All right, I think this is the Japanese long one. Let's get one more and that's it. All right, oh, look how pretty it is. Love the color. So nice. Awesome, I just got some carrots for dinner. Now let's go look what else I have. Also, I have broad beans, which are ready to be harvested. I had been harvesting broad beans already many times, but I think in the next couple days I have to harvest all of them so I can plant some more cucumbers on its place. And I see that most of the pods are already plump, fat enough. That's the broad bean inside the pod. You can see a decent size. And what I do with my broad beans, so first I take them out of the pods, then I blanch them. So I throw them in hot water just for a minute and then take them out, put in ice cold water. That helps to break this first skin and I peel the skin off to get those bright green beans from inside and those beans are the delicious part the most delicious because this skin gives um, broad beans bitterness so to avoid that bitterness I blanch my broad beans how about you how do you like your broad beans let me know in the comments below also, I have my raspberries ripening and these are not regular red raspberries. These are yellow or golden raspberries. So let me pick a few and show you how they look. And my daughter will tell you how they taste. Yeah, there's a bug on me. There's a bug? It's okay. It tastes like normal raspberries. <laughs> Are they sweet? Or sour? Sweet. Sweet? Nice. Have the rest of them. Mm -hmm. Now remember my secret garden on the side of the garage where I have a row of potatoes and a row of tomatoes with some peppers well I got my first tomatoes so these are tropical sunset and this is how they look first tomatoes of the season nice I like the color so bright also remember in my spinach video I was talking about boko boko spinach at that time it was about to bloom well now it is blooming so look at these beautiful tiny flowers isn't this pretty just look at it who would imagine spinach having such a pretty flowers and then once it finishes blooming there will be seed pods so I'll be able to collect the seeds and plant this delicious spinach again. This is spinach. How do you like it? At first I thought it was spicy, then it became sour. Sour? You don't like it? Or you do? I do. You do? <laughs> I 
Also, we have Toro pepper in here forming. Can't wait for all of these peppers to ripen so I can do a taste test and tell you how I like them and which ones I don't. After the rain, all of my petunias and some tomatoes on the green stalk are droopy. They were beaten up. <laughs> but I would like to show you that I have some peppers in here forming. So not only the peppers in pots and in the garden are growing up nicely, but the peppers in the green stalk are also growing good. This is the Jimmy Nardello pepper. And also my miniature tomatoes, the orange head and micro tom are also growing up nicely. You can see there are some tomatoes ready to be picked here too. So small and tiny. You want some? It sounds like we're going to have more rain because I can hear the thunder. Look how pretty it is. Such a little tiny plant, but so many, like 10 tomatoes on it. Look, it's loaded. Loaded with tomatoes. Awesome, love it. And there's more peppers in there, if you can see. <laughs> okay, it's starting to rain again. Let's run in. Also, I would like to show you my zucchinis in the front of the house. I have two pots on both sides of the stairs and I have zucchini in here. I already harvested several zucchini from here, but they keep blooming, keep giving me more. And just look at these yummy looking zucchinis. I love them around this size when they're not too big and fat, they taste great just on the grill. Oh, the rain is starting. We have to run. But before we run in, I would like to show you the peppers that I also grow in the front of the house as part of my ornamentals. These are banana peppers and I think they look so good. Okay, now it's time to go in because the rain is getting more intense. So the rain chased me away and I couldn't finish my uh, vegetable garden tour. There were still a few tomato varieties and peppers that I wanted to show you, but that's okay. I'll keep those for my future videos. I am planning to film um, a tomato and pepper video where I'll be talking about all of the varieties I'm growing and also I will taste them and let you know which ones I like and which um, didn't impress me at all. But to finish this video, I would like to announce uh, the winner of Egyptian spinach seeds. So in my previous video about spinach, uh, in the end, I was doing a giveaway and whoever commented they want these seeds had a chance to win. Well, there was one person who said they want seeds. So here you have it. I'll put your name on the screen right here. Please email to me or contact me on Instagram or Facebook. My email is kitchengardentherapy at gmail.com. Send me your address so you can have these seeds. And today I would like to give away Ukrainian purple tomato seeds. So if you would like to have these seeds, please comment below, say that you would like to try Ukrainian purple tomatoes. And next time I will pick one person and send you the seeds. Thank you so much for watching till the end and for supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Bye.